Um, I'd like to join in acknowledging our honoured guests um, and everybody here today, in particular the Jewish community of Canterbury and our Holocaust survivors. Um, thank you all from uh, my heart for being here today. Um, as you're aware, I'm the MP for Ireland, but what you may not know about me is that I was born and grew up in Jersey, in the Channel Islands, where my father spent his childhood under German occupation during the Second World War. His childhood was dominated by fear that his father, my grandfather's stash of guns for the resistance, and his crystal radio set, hidden under the printing press at his workplace, would be discovered. My grandfather was a medic on the front line during the First World War and so had very little tolerance for fascism. His acts of courage and rebellion in wartime put him and his fam family at risk of deportation or death. On this day since 2015, in addition to honouring the hundreds of European Jews who were taken to the labour camp in Alderney, another of the Channel Islands, my homeland of Jersey remembers the 22 non-Jewish resistance fighters who were deported from the island and murdered during the occupation. If we fail to learn and remember the lessons of history, we know we are at risk of repeating them. My travels took me to Israel for the first time in the early 1990s and the impact of the Holocaust were brought home to me when I visited Yad Vashem the World Holocaust Memorial Center in Jerusalem. As long as I live, I will never forget that visit, but in particular, the, the Children's Memorial, which at the time was a simple glass walkway with a single flickering candle reflected by mirrors into infinity surrounding me. And as I walked, the names of each of the one million murdered children was read aloud. It took months just to read each name aloud, just once, months. It is almost beyond our comprehension, and yet we need to try to work to understand and to remember. In Christchurch, tragically, we don't need to look to history to see the effects of letting the noxious views of the far right and hate gain traction. And whilst the Jewish community was not the target of the shooter's mur murderous rampage in March 2019, we need to be clear that the Jewish community is also vulnerable. When we saw a milk worker drawing swastikas on his overalls two days following the attack, this was made clear. And it's not, as he argued, a joke. Nor is it free speech, it is hate, and it is not okay. So when I say, never again, it is with some small understanding, albeit from the outside, what we are fighting against, of what the consequences are of forgetting, of letting hatred take hold. Never again is not a quiet phrase to be uttered in placation, but an active statement of intent to be shouted in the face of hate, and that must have action behind it. We must stand up every single time and say no, not here, not anywhere, not ever, never, never again. And I say to you once more, Shalom.